if we have to shut down the way you live as a free people for health reasons, we will do it. And let me tell you something. This virus, uh, that was just a practice run on how they can shut things down. That was a practice run. Do you remember five years ago, natural gas was the thing? It was a clean burning fuel. It wasn't coal. Now all of a sudden, it's a poison. It's the enemy. It's the cleanest burning fuel that we have, natural gas. But no, 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 no. So they want to destroy coal. They want to destroy natural gas. They want to destroy heavy oil. And you're left with what? Well, oil, with uh, electricity. Well, how do you get electricity? The vast majority of electricity is created by fossil fuels, coal, and nuclear power. And nuclear power is not expanding. So we're going to be in for many cold winters, many sweltering summers. And then what are they going to do? They're going to do what they're doing in Scotland. Limit how much you can drive. Those days are over. Well and good, he says. The ability to just travel wherever you want. How dare you? Those days are over. It's just like the pandemic with the virus. It's your health, the health of the nation. If we need to destroy your business, destroy your job, shut down your livelihood, shut down your churches and your synagogues and your mosques, if we have to do those things for the health of the general society, we will do it. And if we have to shut down the way you live as a free people for health reasons, we will do it. And let me tell you something. This virus, uh, that was just a practice run on how they can shut things down. That was a practice run. So I wanted to point that out. All right, let's take a listen to this uh, involving the climate change. Go ahead. Federal agency is considering taking action to address the health problems linked to gas stoves. And one option could be a nationwide ban. Well, there is one. Like if you put your face in a, in a gas stove, you might burn it. If you sit there all day long and inhale the gas coming from the gas stove, you might get dizzy. Uh, so I don't recommend you do that. But then on the other hand, if you stick your head in the toilet where we have H2O and never remove it, that might be a health hazard too. All right, go ahead. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, recent studies show emissions worsen childhood asthma. It's not recent studies, it's a recent study and it's completely phony. Completely phony. It was dredged up by this government entity, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, for the purpose of trying to strangle the end user, you, the American people, from using gas and gas stoves. So they want to get rid of your gasoline run car. They want to get rid of your gasoline run stove. They want to get rid of gasoline, period. And this survey or this study, so called, is a joke. But anyway, go ahead. And other diseases. College student Essence Sardui struggles with asthma. My throat's closing up. I can't breathe. But never connected her asthma attacks to her kitchen. But several studies now identify gas stoves as a hidden hazard, linked to more than 12% of childhood asthma cases and other respiratory cardiovascular. Linked to 12.7%. How do they know? They don't know. They don't have the foggiest idea. Go ahead. There's just chemicals that come out from the gas and a lot of the nitrogen dioxide, particularly if there's not good ventilation, then they can build up in the household. As a result, the Consumer Product Safety Commission is mulling action on gas stoves used in more than one third of U.S. homes. You are burning fuel in your home, in your kitchen, which is usually the center of your See, family. It's all these nonprofit groups and so forth and so on. They are ideologically extreme. American Lung Association, you would have thought, well, that's, that's a good organization, but listen to them. Go ahead. Other gas appliances are directly vented to the outsides. Causing not only indoor air pollution, but also greenhouse gases, even when stoves are off. But the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers says the solution is better ventilation. Plumbing, heating, and cooling contractors say talk of a ban is premature. Why attack an entire industry? If a doctor's recommendation says it affects somebody's asthma, nobody's going to argue that. But 
there's millions of gas stoves. Some would miss the ease of cooking with gas, but... I'm for anything that will make my health better. Meantime, the Lung Association recommends use the hood that vents to the outside while cooking or open a window. Wait a minute, open a window? It's that simple? Well, then open your damn window. Product Safety Commission has many options from an import ban to setting emission standards and will open the debate up to public comment before any decision is made. There you go. You think this is, uh, this is over? It's not. They're going to ban the stove. Or they're going to regulate it so heavily that it becomes so expensive you won't want to use it. You won't be able to use it. What in the world did we do before the Consumer Product Safety Commission? How did we live? And not only that, did you know the gas stove is racist? Oh, yes, like all things American, the gas stove is racist. Go ahead. I want to talk to you about something um, that sort of lit up, so to speak, um, some social media this week. The issue of gas stoves. We saw Republicans jumping over this issue. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission did call them a hidden hazard. So we saw people kind of using this as a political football. In fact, two congressmen actually introduced a bill prohibiting bans on gas stoves. But you have spoken about legitimate health concerns you have. Talk to us about that. Well, in the 11th Congressional District, which is uh, one of the poorest big cities in the country, Cleveland, Ohio, we have uh, communities that are disproportionately impacted by health disparities, and asthma is one of them. And we can trace scientifically that 13, nearly 13 percent of children-related asthma um, directs... Is Using the same survey that you just heard about before. So in her community because their gas stoves, her community is disproportionately affected. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this is called technology and progress. If there weren't gas stoves in her community, she'd be complaining about that, right? To, so to racialize these things, it's just another layer of stupidity. Go ahead to gas stoves. So this is an issue that is of great importance to me. Now, we're not going to the extreme of banning gas stoves, but what we want to do is yes, educate. And what we also want to do is make sure that we are informing people so that they can make the adjustments and the modifications, making sure that their windows are open, their homes are properly ventilated, um, bringing this uh, to their attention so we can deal with the disparities that have come as a result of gas stoves in marginalized communities. But you're not calling for a ban, Congresswoman. I'm not calling for a BAM. I am a, a proud user of the gas stove, but okay, I... Okay, wait, 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 wait. See, this is the thing. You ask any chef, they're going to tell you they prefer a gas stove. Now, where I live, you can't have a gas stove because they don't have gas pipelines to where I live in Florida. So you use a propane stove or you use electricity. So we use electricity, which is not the preferred stove of, of most chefs and so forth. Not that I'm a chef or my wife's a chef, although they're good cooks in the family. I'm not one of them. But see how she smiles and she said, I have a gas stove and she'd never give it up. So the reason why they can't ban them yet, but they'll get there, is because too many of you own them, including people in her marginalized community. And they want their stoves and they want to keep it. You want to open your window, open your window. There. Case solved. But today it's stoves, yesterday it was cars, then it's going to be dryers and washing machines, and next will be uh, clothes washing machines, and after that it's going to be uh, tile floors, it's going to be something, because they can't stop. For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.